Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today, as you see, I will be in this kitchen decluttering, organizing, and cleaning up. And I'm finally getting to those kitchen cabinets that I wanted to um, declutter and get to and just get everything a little bit more situated. So I'm just showing you the bins that I need to move and you know place inside the cabinets here. I'm gonna be taking those pots out and I'm gonna be moving them from there over to the cabinets over here. So I'm just showing you what the cabinets are looking like. And before I do move them over, what I'm going to do is I am going to take everything out and the old pots I'm actually gonna be throwing away. And then I will start wiping out the cabinets and I will be using the Sprayway Multipurpose Cleaner today to do the cleaning up in the cabinets. I do like this cleaner, but I actually noticed while I was using it that it does have a little strong odor. So if you're a person that, um, you know, odor and stuff like that bothers you, as far as your cleaning products, this may be a little bit too strong for you. So just try it, you know, beforehand. But yeah, we're going to get these pots out of here and get this place wiped down. If you're new to my channel, my name's Natasha. I am a working mom of four and a special needs mom. And on my channel, I'm bringing you guys tons of cleaning motivation along with things in organization, lifestyle, motherhood, and decor. And just bring you guys along as I handle my life on everyday basis of being a wife and a working mom and how I take care of my household. And of course, bring you guys that inspiration to get things done as well along with me. So if that's something you guys think that you'd be interested in, I'd definitely love for you to stick around and subscribe. Hey 
here I was just trying to decide if I wanted to keep the pot from my old set and I decided to go ahead and let that go. Just know when you're organizing your space, there's no right or wrong. When you're trying to make your space functional, you're going to basically be taking things, moving them around. You might have to do it multiple times before you actually get it how you really want it. So just, you know, know when you're doing your space, nothing has to be perfect. It may not look that great. It may not be, you know, to where you want it, but you have to start somewhere. And as you progress, then you'll decide, you know, what's the best way to get your space functional for you. And here I'm just showing you guys how this drawer is looking, which was really dirty. So I'm glad I did take things out and wipe that out. And then also I'm going to be moving those bowls that are on the counter right there. I'm going to be moving them over to the Lazy Susan. So now we're going to go and get this space cleaned up. Okay guys, I'm not going to do too much of vlogging today, but I just want to check in with you guys because I have a lot of noise in the background. But I finished putting the pots that I could inside the drawers. The bigger pots I left over in this cabinet over here, along with the Zoe, along with the air fryer. And I'm going to move the baking products over here as well, in a, um, but I need to get a smaller basket. So I just left them over here, and I'll show you guys how I did that. And I'm also going to wipe out the bottom of the oven where I have some of the other baking pans. And those baking pans I'm actually going to get rid of um, soon, but I want to replace them before I get rid of them, so I'll just leave those over there. So let me show you guys what I did so far. So under here it looks like this. I have some baking pans there. Those at some point I probably will move back over under there, but I'm just going to leave them here for now because they're neat. And then now when you open up this drawer, I have the pots here. And then these are like the bacon things and that stuff. When I get a bigger thing, I'll move them over. But for now, I put them in that basket so it looks a little bit more neater. And the blender and stuff is there. And then here are all the pots that we will be using more regularly in here. And then you come over here now. And I have the pressure cooker and the bigger Dutch pots back there. And that's the air fryer and the trays and the mixing bowls. And this is basically um, like chips and junk and stuff that could not fit in the pantry over there. I put them over here. And I'm going to get a basket, like I said, to go back in this area. Back here because I still have good space back there. But I could put something else back there.
I'm basically gonna be changing some things up in the kitchen and bring this tray over here, I believe. I think right here. I'm probably gonna be changing this over with some other arrangements and putting this over there. So we'll see. I'm gonna wipe them down and put the corals in there, see how I like it, and we'll see how everything turns out. But definitely, if you guys are feeling um, bored with your decor, a little uninspired, definitely go through your home and sometimes just switching things around, changing one thing from one location to another you'll, you know, freshen up your home. Just in case you guys wanted to know, those white peonies I got that from uh, Marshalls, the white Voss I got that from Target, the round tray was from Home Goods, um, and the Hurricane that's from Kirkland's, and these florals here I got those from Walmart as well, and that filler which I've had for a long time, I believe I got that from Target, and I definitely need to get some more of that. You guys see my counter right here this is nothing new this is like our catch-all spot everybody comes and drops everything off here let me know also if you guys have a catch-all spot in your home
tell this to somebody who cares I never thought it felt this good without you Without you Definitely wanted to get the stools and everything wiped down in this area over here because the kids tend to sit here to have their meals. So there was fingerprints and those type of things on the stools. So I definitely wanted to wipe them down from top to bottom. And then I'm also going to go over to Zoe's desk, which yes, we have the desk now. So you guys are getting a glimpse of that. And I'm going to get that cleaned off as well. I just want to say if you're still watching, I really appreciate your support. You guys watching and, you know, clicking that like button, even commenting on my videos really helps me and supports me. And if you're still here watching and it's your first time and you've gotten this far in the video, evidently you've seen something that you like and you're interested in. And I would definitely love for you to stick around and subscribe. You know, it still hurts a little bit, but not that much. Cause if you want somebody else, who am I to judge? I've been thinking about you all the time, but that's alright I'm starting to get used to it, think I'll survive I met you in the summer, when you left it was cold Said we loved one another, guess that we were wrong I met you in the summer, our love was out of control I know you guys notice the kids riding their bikes and rollerblading around the house. This is basically just a typical day in the life of how things are around my household. And this is what they do to keep themselves sane because, of course, they're not going outside too much because of the COVID and all that stuff. So I just give them that time to, you know, get their energy out. And sometimes this is what they do. You in the summer, when you left, it was cold. Said we loved one another. Guess that we were wrong. I know you guys saw me wiping down the stainless steel already with the rag, but there was some food particles on there that I just wanted to wipe up first. And now, of course, I'm going through with my sprayway stainless steel cleaner and just getting that shine going.
like to see me fill up my cookie jar so I decided to leave this in here so you guys can see me do that As you guys see, I'm using some warm water, some bleach, and some Fabulosa to mop. And once we get to this part of the video with me mopping, I definitely know that my work is done. So it's definitely one of my favorite chores to do. Let me know in the comment below what's something that you like doing when you're cleaning. Don't think I'm ready for you. I think you're ready for me either I know you've been with her too long It's okay, I'm just saying What if she told you Strap there. I'm gonna get some different um, 
fillers to put in here, but I put those there for now. And of course, I need some more cookies for my jar, but that's fine. And everything, we open it up. It's nice and clean. I already showed you guys the jars, and this is how the table looks. I didn't feel like putting the um, mats down, so I just left it bare like this just to keep it simple. And then this is how the little cocoa area looks. Just simple. So, and just to keep it real, this is clean, but look at my area over there. And I'm not tackling that tonight. I'll probably do that tomorrow. So, yeah. I like you and she wants you to come back. Would you go and pretend like I'm nothing? Although you want her, want her, want her. I need your back.